for that are in August, uh, the 9th through the 11th, and the 16th to the 18th. And then after that, I'll be directing by spirit. And the auditions for that are uh, August 23rd and 24th. So keep an eye out for more announcements about that show. And performances are in August. Yes, he 
up the price all right. All right, if you wanted to. I know this. You always have a price to go to work. Always. <laughs> but whenever it's about me having a good time, it's always, oh, I ain't got the price. I got to be saving. All right, that up. You'll let her save. And me, here, now. Working my fingers to the bone to make both ends meet. What are you talking about, Sam? Don't be pulling that tired stuff. I worked hard all day. On the subway, a day is enough for me. Happier? <laughs> Where do you get that tired stuff anyway? What about me? Where do I come in? Uh, scrubbing your floors, cooking your meals, and washing your dirty laundry. Sitting in a chair all day, just out of business, you know. And wait for five thirty. There's no five thirty for me. I don't get no whistle. What's more, I don't get no vacation either. I don't get no pay stuff every Saturday night, neither. I want to know where you be without me. And what do I got to show for it? What's in it for me? <laughs> I'd like to know. Whoa! 
wandering around tonight. You can bet your sweet life on that she won't be walking around any more nights. Not in this house, anyhow. That dirty bum. The idea that she could go and live in a house with respect.
Go on, go on, we're losing time. Just quit being so bossy. $3.269, dollars 40 dollars 875 Who do you think you are, anyhow? Never mind about who I think I am. You just tend to your work. Don't be giving me so many orders. 60 cents, 24 cents, 75 cents, $1.50, 250 $150, $150, $150, $250. I don't have to take it from you, and what's more, I won't. Quit talking. I'll talk all I want. $3.50. 50 cents, $7, 50 cents, 250, 350, 50 cents, 150, 150, 50 cents. You make me sick. <laughs> oh, you women are just the same. Always shooting your mouth off about something. Tall, tall, tall. That's all you women do. All you women are alive. You make me sick. <laughs> Frederick do it once. 
Where could I get a pistol, though? Well, I guess I just didn't have the nerve. I bet you'd be sorry, then. Did you bet so mean to me? How do I know, though? Maybe you wouldn't. Nerve? I got as much nerve as anybody. It's just that I'm on the level, that's all. I'm a married man, and I'm on the level. <laughs> Why ain't I got a right to live? I'm as good as anybody else. I'm too refined, I guess. That's the whole trouble. Time the wife had pneumonia? Well, I thought she was going to pass out. She didn't. And the doctor's bill was $87. Hey, wait a minute. Did you say $87? What? Did you just say $87? Forty-two fifty. Oh, then you know, I made a mistake. All right, shoot. Six dollars, three fifteen, two twenty-five, sixty-five cents, a dollar twenty. You talk to me as if I was dirt. I wonder if I could kill the wife without anybody finding out. <laughs> In bed one night with a pillow. <laughs> I used to think you was stuck on me. Oh, I get found out though. They always have their ways. We used to be so nice and friendly together when I first came here. You used to talk to me then. Maybe she'll die soon. I noticed she was coughing this morning. <laughs> you used to tell me all the kinds of things. How oh, one day you was going to show them all. But just the same, you're still sitting here. Oh, then I could do what I damn well please. Oh, boy! Maybe it ain't all your fault, neither. Maybe if you had the right kind of wife. Somebody with a lot of common sense. Somebody refined. Me! <laughs> well, at that, I guess I'd get tired of bumming around. A feller wants a place to hang his hat. I wish she would die. <laughs> And when you start going around with women, you're liable to get in trouble. You lose your job, maybe. Maybe you'd marry me. Gee, I wish I'd gone over there that night. Then I could quit working. Lots of women would be glad to get me. I, you could live a long time before you find a sensible, refined woman like me. Yes, sir. They could look a long time before they find a steady mill ticket like me. I guess I'd be told to have any kids, though. They say it ain't safe after 35. Maybe I'd marry you. You might be all right at that. I, I wonder if you didn't want kids, whether, if there's any way... Hey, 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 hey. Can't you slow up? You think I am a machine? All right, what is it you want, anyhow? First it's too slow, and now it's too fast? I guess you don't know what you want. Well, never you mind about that. Just you slow up. I'm getting sick of this. I'm going to ask to be transferred. Go ahead. You ain't going to make me mad. Oh, keep quiet. 245. A dollar 20. A dollar fifty. <laughs> Ninety cents. Sixty three cents. <laughs> Mary Hugh, I guess not. You'd be as bad as the one I've got. You wouldn't care if I did get transferred. I got a good mind to ask. I was a fool to get married. Then I'd never see you at all. I mean, what chance has a guy got with a woman tied around his neck? <laughs> Five years holding down the same job. We spent all day together, just sitting in the grass under the trees. Wonder if the boss remembers about it being 25 years. And, and coming home that night, he sat next to me in the big delivery wagon. Well, I got a hunch there's a big race coming to me. I wonder what it feels like to be really kissed. Men! Dirty pigs! They 
want the bold ones. If he don't come across, I'm going to go right up to his door and tell him where he gets off. I wish I was dead. <laughs> Boss, I'll say, I want to have a talk with you. Zero, come on in, sit down. Have a Corona Corona, he'll say. Oh, no thanks, boss. I don't smoke. Well, how's that? He'll say. Well, boss, I'll say. It's like this. Every time I feel like smoking, I take a nickel and I put it in the old sock. A penny saved is a penny earned. That's the way I look at it. Zero, he'll say. You've got a wise head on your shoulders, Zero. Boss, I'll say, I ain't quite satisfied. I've been here 25 years, and if I'm gonna stay, I gotta see the future ahead of me. Well, Zero, they'll say, I'm glad you came in. See, I've had my eyes on you. Nothing gets past me. Oh, I know that, boss, I'll say. That'll end up a good laugh, that will. Zero, I've been thinking, you're a valuable man. And I'd like you to come up here to the front office with me. You're done adding figures. Starting Monday, you're up here. Hmm. <laughs> the kisses in the movies. The long ones, right on the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep going right on up after that. Oh, I'll show them birds where they get off. Devil's alibi. He put his arms around her, and her head fell back, and her eyes closed like she was in a daze. Just give me about two years, and I'll show them birds where they get off. I guess that's what it's like. The kind of daze. When I see them like that, I just seem to forget everything. Yeah. Give me a place in Jersey. Maybe a small viewing, you know, Tim Lizzie for mine. Oh yeah, once I get started, I'll show them. I can kind of see it now. When I half close my eyes, the way her head fell back and his mouth pressed right up against hers. Oh God, it must be great. <laughs> Machines? Yes, you've probably seen them. A mechanical device that adds automatically. 
Well, yeah, I've seen them. Keys. And, and a handle you pull. Kerchunk! That's it. <laughs> you work half the time, man. High school girl, huh? Now, uh, of course we're sorry to lose an old and faithful employee. But, uh, excuse me, boss? Would you mind repeating that? Say, I'm sorry to lose an employee who's been with me for so long. But, of course, in an organization like this, efficiency must be the first consideration. Now, you will draw your salary for the full month, and I'll have my secretary draw up a letter of recommendation. Excuse me, boss? Are you saying I can? I'm sorry. There's no other alternative. I greatly regret it. Old employee. Efficiency, economy, and business. Business! Business! Oh! Thank <laughs> you. 
do it without you in the store who should have been for the last 25 years. Where's the gold medal he gave you? But did you lose it to some blind old lady or did you leave it on the seat of the limousine with the wild scratch home? <laughs> <laughs> I bet he gave you a raise, didn't he? <laughs> oh, raise, that chance you got to get a raise. All they got to do is put an ad in the paper and there's 10,000 like you lying around the streets. You'll be holding down the same job after another 25 years. If you ain't forgot how to act by that time. <laughs> Anyways, he can do what he wants as long as he behaves himself. 
<laughs> well, you're in luck, one. Fat pants I gotta get away from the crowd. Even with my sister. You ought to be glad you got a good wife to look after you. That's right, Mrs. Three. I guess I don't know who wears the pants in your house, Three. <laughs> oh, never mind. I saw the golden pants at the movies the other night. Kid, probably trying to get some money. Oh, swell chance any of us have to get any money away from you. <laughs> you sure I was on a couple? Oh, oh. Well, I, I think we ought to change the subject. Yes, let's change the subject. Did you hear the one about the traveling salesman? The guy was in a sleeper. A mall in San Diego. And in the next berth was an old maid <laughs> with a wet leg. Well, around about midnight. Did you hear about the sevens? Yeah, they're getting a divorce. It's the second time for him. Mm, they're two of a kind, if you ask me. <laughs> yeah, one's as bad as the other. Worse. That's women's suffrage in the bunk. That's right. Politics is a man's business. That well, woman's place is in the hall. That's right. Raising kids. Keep them off the streets. You hit the nail on the head that time. And the trouble is, they don't know what they want. And sure get me tired. Yeah. They sure are a lazy lot. <laughs> Man, dirt is always grumbling about something. When they're not lying or messing up the house. Believe me, my knows where he gets off. <laughs> Business sure is bad this year. Never been worse. I don't know what they're coming to. Well, I'm looking for a big smash up in a few months. Wouldn't surprise me a bit. We're sure heading for trouble. Well, my aunt, my aunt has the ball stones. <laughs> yeah, my husband has the onions. <laughs> well, my sister expects next month. But my cousin's husband has erysipelas. What? My niece has St. Vitus' dance. My boy <laughs> has fits. Oh, no. I haven't felt better. Back on wood. <laughs> Too damn much agitation. That's at the bottom of it. That's right. Too damn many strikes. It's the foreign agitators. That's what it is. Well, they ought to be run right out of the country. What the hell do they want anyhow? I don't know what they want, if you ask me. America for Americans, that's what I always say. Well, that's that's it. it. Damn foreigners, damn, damn unions, damn, damn liberals, damn, damn commies, damn, damn women. Damn sugar, damn lynch and burn. My country is something sweet land of liberty. I'm thinking. Uh, be careful not to sprain your mind. <laughs> I've been poor kid, sitting there by themselves. We ain't being very sociable. Yeah, it looks like we're going to the lakes. <laughs> There's a door. I'll get it. It's for me.
کمرا I gotta go with him, so you'll have to try the dishes yourself. <laughs> what are you telling me? I killed the boss this afternoon. <laughs>
And legal holidays too. You know, if you've got them, you know, New Year's Day, Washington's birthday, Declaration Day, Fourth of July, Labor Day, Thanksgiving and Christmas. Good Friday if you want it. And if you're a Jew, you get Yom Kippur. And that other one, I don't remember what they call it. <laughs> Just like that, I'm getting two for every other bird's one. Huh? And when a holiday comes on a Sunday, you get Monday off, so that's pretty fair. But when 4th of July comes on a Saturday, then you're kind of out of luck on account of it being a half day anyway. Do you get me? 25 years. 25 years. I never missed a day. I was never more than a few minutes late to work. If you don't believe me, you can check my time cards. 827. 830, 832, 829, 832, 832, and 5 is 4. God damn it! It's the figures, see? There's funny things in the figures. Some of them look like people. The eights, see? The two dots, four eyes, and a little dot for nose. And a mouth. That's a little line up there. It's a mouth. And, and there are some other numbers that look like other things, but I can't talk about them right now. I'm kind of a little bit present. Sure, I, I killed him. Sure, I killed him. I mean, why wouldn't he just shut up? Oh, if you know me, just shut up. But he kept talking and talking and telling me how sorry he was and what a good guy I was. I just felt like I'm saying to him, I felt like saying, for Christ's sake, would you just shut up? Shut up! Shut up! But I didn't have the nerve. I didn't have the nerve to say that to the big boss. But he just kept talking and talking, and he was standing right close to me. And I can tell you, he had two buttons on his coat. Two and two is four. Another two is six. Another two is eight. God damn it! <laughs> Twenty-five years, see. And and you know, when I read all about him in the paper with his children, I, I felt like a rock cheap speech. I tell you. They had his children's picture in the paper right beside mine. And his wife's too. Ooh boy. Must be nice to be married to a girl like that. Ooh, some guys have all of them. And he donated $50,000 to the store so the girls could have their own restroom. He was a good guy at that. $50,000. That's more than twice I'd have if I'd saved every nickel I'd ever made. And the band and the ads in the paper had a big black banner around it. And it said that the store was going to be closed for three days on account of the, oh, <laughs> the boss being dead. <laughs> well, that nearly handed me a laugh, I tell you. <laughs> Just to think that all of them Fires and floor walkers and high muck and mucks had me to thank for getting three days off. Jeez. God, I, I had not to kill him. I ain't saying nothing about that, but well, I thought he was going to give me the raise. On account of being there 25 years, see? He never talked to me before. Except the one time when we came into the store together one morning, I held the door open for him and he said, thanks. Just like that, see? Thanks. <laughs> he never talked to me before that. Never again. And then I saw him walking up the aisle to my desk. And I didn't know where I got off. 
big boss coming up to me. Oh, I felt like I was choking and I suddenly get this bad taste in my mouth, like when you wake up in the morning. I had no right to kill him. The district attorney is right about that. He read the law to you straight out of the book. Killing a bird. That's wrong. <laughs> but well, there was this girl, you see. The judge gave her six months. <clears throat> well, I was a fool to get the cops on her like that, but I, I didn't have no choice. The life had gotten on to me. I had to do it. But she, she would walk around the room wearing nothing but an undershirt. Just an undershirt. <laughs> well, I guess I'll never see her again. Well, them birds. How do they get away with it? Just grabbing women whenever they want to. Like you see them doing pictures. I mean, I've seen a lot of women I like to grab like that. But I don't have the nerve in the street and on the subway and in the store buying things. Oh, man. Them, them shoe shells, I mean, they got a solid life, don't they? Always oh, getting a look at women's legs. Oh, man. Them lawyers. Oh, they give me a pain, I tell you. A pain. They say the same things over and over again. I never said I didn't kill them. But that don't make me like a regular murderer. <laughs> I didn't make nothing from this. I didn't get anything out of it. Give me the once over, you guys. Do I look like a murderer to you? Do I? I ain't never harmed nobody in my life. Ask God, I will tell you. Ask anybody. I never did no harm to nobody. I mean, you wouldn't count that time in polo grounds. That was just a fun life, see? The whole crowd was yelling, Kill the Empire! Kill the Empire! And before I knew it, I had shot that pop bottle off. <laughs> it was because I, the crowd was yelling and screaming. <laughs> but well, anyhow, I didn't hit him. And when the cops would come up the aisle, I beat him. So ain't nobody got harm there. And that time on the subway, I was reading an article about a lynch down in Georgia. Oh man. They had taken this guy and they had tied him up to this big tree. And they poured kerosene all over him. And then they light a big fire under him. Oh, oh, oh wow. Oh, I would have liked to have been there. Gap in each hand, pumping him full of lead. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> but you see, I was reading about that. In the paper, right at Times Square when the big crowd gets on, and this big bastard comes and steps on my foot. Well, lucky I didn't have a gun with me. I would have killed him for sure, I guess. Well, I guess he uh, couldn't help it on account of the crowd being so big, but a person like that has no right to step on a white man's foot. And I told him when he got off, that didn't hurt nobody neither. You have to admit, I'm a steady guy. 25 years holding down the same job, and I never missed a day. That's 52 weeks a year. It's 52, it's 52, it's 52. They didn't have to look for me, did they? I didn't try to run away, did I? <laughs> Where was I going to run away to? I wasn't thinking about that, see. I was thinking about how I was going to break into the wife about being canned. He canned me after 25 years. Did the lawyers tell you that? I forget. 
man. All this talk gives me a headache. Objection sustained. Objection overruled. Answer yes or no. I've been confused because of them figures and them lawyers. 